Lesson 14. Shorting Stocks So, most people only know how to make money when stocks go up. But in order to be a professional trader, you need to know how to make money when stocks go down as well. By learning this, you will separate yourself from the average investor. Because stocks move up and down, this creates opportunities for you to make money through this volatility. We've all heard the term, buy low, sell high, meaning you buy when the stock is at a low price and sell after it rises. However, majority of traders only know how to buy stocks, but most traders don't know how to short stocks. Shorting a stock is a way to make money when the stock actually goes down. Shorting a stock means selling a stock at a high price and then buying it back at a low price. This confuses most people. Instead of buy low and then sell high, you're actually selling high, then buying low. The reason why this confuses people is because they wonder, how can I sell something that I don't own? When you short sell a stock, your broker will lend it to you from their own inventory, with the expectation that you will return the stock back to them at a future market price. You are basically borrowing a stock from your broker then immediately selling it at the current market price, anticipating that the price will drop, and closing out your trade by buying the stock back at a lower price and giving it back to your broker. So for example, if you short sell one stock and the price of that stock is trading at $100, it will display in your account as negative one share sold at 100. Sooner or later, you must close the short by buying back the same number of shares called covering and returning those shares back to your broker. The best way to illustrate this is through an example. Let's say Apple is trading at $100 a share and you think the price is going to drop. You can tell your broker that you want to short the stock at 100 and the broker will let you borrow one share for you to sell immediately at 100. Let's say a week goes by and the stock drops down to $75. Since you still have to return that one share of Apple stock back to your broker, you can now buy the stock at 75 and that will cover your short position and close out the trade. Since you initially sold it at 100 and then bought it back when it dropped down to 75 the $25 drop in price is actually your profit since you sold high and bought low. On the flip side, if you shorted the stock at 100 and then the stock went up to 110 then you have to buy the stock at a higher price than you initially sold it for, resulting in a $10 loss per share. This is why people think shorting is risky. When you short a stock, your losses are unlimited, because it can go infinitely higher. However, when you buy a stock, your losses are capped, because a stock can only go down to zero. However, shorting a stock is just as safe as buying a stock, just as long as you put in a stop loss in every trade. So for example, if you shorted Apple at 100 and you put a stop loss order at 105, then the most you can lose is $5 per share. In this example with Facebook, if you shorted the stock after it hit resistance around 120 and then bought it back when it dropped down to 109, you would have made an $11 per share profit. So to recap, you learned what shorting a stock is, how you can profit when the market goes down, how to cover your short and close out your trade by buying it back, and how to limit your risk on the upside by using stop losses. In my next video, you'll learn about specific patterns and setups to look out for when shorting a stock.